everyone. Welcome to the Sun City Stitchers channel. I'm Carlene and I'm Marlene and this is our 2023 Whip Parade. We are super excited to show you all of our um, wonderful whips. <laughs> we have a our lot. Our mountain of whips. Our mountain, <laughs> yes, a mountain of whips. We hope that you all had just a beautiful uh, Christmas holiday, that you got to spend it with family and loved ones. Um, and that you uh, just had a, a, a beautiful, beautiful holiday season. Marlene and I um, spent the holiday together. We had a really nice Christmas. Yes, it was very um, nice. And we're looking forward to New Year's Eve. Yes. We're going to be working on our New Year's Eve 12, 12 by 12. 12. So we're really excited about that. We got together um, yesterday yeah. and got all of our projects um, ready to go uh -huh. so that there's Thread is ready. Yes. Everything's mm -hmm. ready. So, um, so we have. We will, when and we're we'll, showing our projects, we'll have some dangling threads. And we'll the we'll tell you doing. that yeah. this is a twelve by twelve yeah. or whatever. So, yes. um, we are going to just uh, first of all, let me say we are coming to you today from Marlene's craft room. Um, we decided kind of last minute that we were going to do this tonight. Um, we had originally planned to do it tomorrow. But we made an adjustment um, just kind of at the last minute and decided to do it here in her craft room. So the lighting's a little different. I hope it'll be okay. Um, we are going to go through and, and um, we kind of have divided our whips into categories. And so we'll show you um, those categories and show you the whips that are in each one of them and talk a little bit about how we plan to organize for next year, yes. 2024. But before we do that, um, Marlene, let's share our 2023 stats. Okay. So um, how did you do this year? Oh, well, I had 49 new starts. I had 77 new starts. <laughs> That's a lot more than me. I know. I don't know how that happened. Hmm. And then um, I had 25 um, finishes. And I had 60 finishes. But, you know, I did the little sheep spools. Oh, yeah. So that adds, mm -hmm. well, 11. I haven't done, I have one more left to do. But so that, did you do November? Oh, I haven't done November. I oh, did December, December and finished December. Mm -hmm. But I have to go back and get November done. So, I mean, oh, yeah. that's 12 right, right there. there. So that yeah. makes up a big chunk. Yeah. Anyway, I had 60 finishes. And then I had 49 um, FFOs, um, and those were only mine. I didn't count the ones that I fully finished for Marlene. So um, I had a lot of, of fully finishes as well. So yeah. that was mm -hmm. that was good. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, so I can. I I think um, this year in twenty twenty four I should mark it down when you do an FFO for me. Yes, so that you know so I, how yeah. many of yours mm -hmm. have been fully finished. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I think so. So now going into 2024, I have a total of 60 whips. And I have 55. Okay, so we're pretty close. Yeah. Um, we are really hoping to get some of these whips off of our whip yeah. lists. Um, and so, but, we'll but, but we are not saying that we're not going to start new things because no. we know we will start new mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's just, that's the nature of the beast. Yes. Um, yes. So to begin with, we are going to start, our first category is going to be our current Christmas whips. So most of these, if you've been following us, most of these are going to look familiar. Um, some of them may not because a few of them we have not gotten to get out and work on. Right. Um, but... So the very first one that we're going to show you is our brand new start for Christmas Day. Go Tell It on the Mountain by Heartstring Samplery. Marlene and I um, both picked this one. Yes. And Marlene gave us uh, like little homework assignments. So yes. we've been working on it. Now today is day four. Day oh, and this is you just yes. started on the house. Yes. Uh -huh. The I outline outlined, of the house. Uh -huh. I outlined the house. So, so I that's day four to fill, fill in. in. Yes. yes, I was working on that same part. So I have the same amount done, but I've, I am working a little differently. I filled in the side of the house over here. Mm -hmm. So this was done on an Atomic Ranch 40 count fabric uh -huh. prairie land mm -hmm. with um, the called for DMC I, flosses. I had, oh, it was no. DMC and 
classic colors and we and we it was a combination and we did and a few I had, yeah changes. I had a few changes okay um like for one um my red I had to change for sure yeah I changed I, I changed one, the so. red so, so anyway but and then yes. we both have been working on our nativities um I'm still working on the holy family Marlene. I finished the Holy Family, so I'm going to be starting on the uh, Bethlehem Star. So do you want to show them yes. yours? And you will notice we did not press. iron. <laughs> we did not press these. So, yeah, so, I'm sorry, you'll have to look at wrinkly wrinkle. messes. Yes. So, so her okay. holy family is yes. finished, and now she's going to be going up here to mm -hmm. the top and putting in the star and, and the, the two angels. angels. I'm really excited to do the angels. They're going to be really fun. Yes, they the are colors are fun. really pretty. And I have worked on mine. I will have one more day. I'll work on this on Saturday. And I got the sheep finished. And all of the steps are done. Oh, you got the steps all filled in too? Yes. Oh, that's good. So now I'm going to go over to the right hand side then and work on the last streamers, the standing sheep, and the wise men. Mm -hmm. So that's, um, that's where I am at. I was really hoping this one was going to be a finish, but it is not. No. It is not going to be too. Okay, then the next. And then we both started a Prairie Schooler Santa for our movie night. night. This one was mine. Mine was 2012. Mine was 2023. And I haven't gotten to work on this I one haven't at all. worked on it at all. No, I haven't. So that was my start. This is my start. I have a dangling thread, sorry. Yes, you do. I, not, I don't. It's not but one that I'm working on for. So you can't even say that's no, why it's dangling. No. Okay. Then Christmas House. Now this is one that I really do think will be a finish. Because I am going to be working on this one still. Um, and, and so I did get the border, the satin stitch on the border all the way around. I got that done. I finished the little picket fence down here. And I put in this post. Now there's another post that goes on the other side of the door. So um, I have just this little corner to do. With the, with the holly leaves? With, and the holly leaves. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, that's so pretty. And so, yeah, I'm really, I'm really, I'm going to keep working on this one uh -huh. so that it's a finish. I worked on Joy Noel. So and I have a page finish on this one. So vintage looking. This is a Blackbird design. Yes. So I have the first page all done. Stitched on 30 count cobweb yes. lace, yes. right? Yes. With the call for um, classic colors. I think it's a combination, classic colors and Weeks Dye Works. Um, you know, and there might be a sampler thread in there too. My Christmas house is stitched on the called for. And I didn't we didn't say, but both of us are stitching our Santas, Prairie Schooler Santas oh, yeah. on um 40, 40 count mocha. vintage country, country mocha, mocha with the called for DMC floss. Okay. Then I have a couple of, of Erica Michaels berries. I have mm -hmm. Saint Nick's berry. This is one I have not got to work on at all. Um, and this is what I have done, just a little bit on his coat. So and that one you're doing on the gauze, right? On the silk gauze, 40 mm -hmm. count silk gauze. And I worked on holly berry, but I haven't worked on I worked on it a little bit this season, but not lately. It's still the same as I showed it. Here's so, the, here you can put this yeah. behind it. So I just am doing the background. So I'm filling in the 
So I have to go back in and fill in the squares. And it actually goes faster it does. than you think. It does, because it's a 10 stitch. So. I did get to work on mine this week, and I have a dangling thread. Um, because I, I used it for a homework oh, okay. task. And so I oh, am I coming guess. along pretty good with filling in the background on the first yeah, half. I want to go back in and This do that. is one I'm going to keep working on in January yeah. because it's not really that yeah. Christmassy looking. No, not really. And then I have another um, berry that I worked on just a little. Well, it's it's candy cane kisses and candy cane wishes Miss and mistletoe, mistletoe kisses. kisses. Um and I haven't gotten to work on this one at all. So I just have this little start. And that's so pretty. I know. And now I'm you were to work stitching on. this, this on was the called on, for. Yes, 40 count straw by Weeks Dye Works. With the called for? With the called for threads. threads. Did I and show the wrong side? No, I, I, I thought I it was right. Let me show it again just in case. It's okay. I think it I was think right. I think it was right. Mm -hmm. I think so too. And then I've been working on Nativity Berry, and this one will be a finish before the end of the year. Um, I thought I was going to get it done today. Um, I have just a little bit left on this wing of the angel, and then some of these little uh, gold stars fill well, in around here in this area. Yeah, those go pretty fast. Yes, they do okay. go fast. Okay, then we had our new, our last Christmas, or the last 2023 lady, our Christmas lady, my name is Victorian, Christmas Lady by Shannon Christine. And that's what I have done on that one. I've gotten a lot done on her. Yeah, I she's was, very pretty. I still have, it's not a page finish yet, but... um. And I stitched this on denim effect by Fabric Flare. Fabric Flare. 28 count. 28 count, yes. So that's it's really, really fun. It's really, really fun. I'm doing Christmas Red for my December Lady. Um, also a Shannon Christine design. I decided to stitch her on 36 count Joy to the World by Grace Notes Fabrics. I'm stitching her... Uh, two over two Mine with the two called two for DMC floss. Yes, I did those. get page one all finished. So you can kind of see the rectangle here in here. Mm -hmm. That was page one. Um, so I'm really liking her. You had, um, and the, the, where we have the gold treasure rate on both of them. Um, it called actually called for this. Beads this was the, this was supposed to be gold crinic. It's the gold in her dress oh. and like her necklace, and then there was a red, and I oh. changed it to um, crinic braid, crinic, crinic braid, or treasure braid. Both of them are crinics. I used treasure braid and one crinic braid, and then we are working on our. Um, 12 days of Christmas. I'm doing the fourth day of Christmas. Another one that I wanted, to, I, would, I thought this one was going to be a finish. Yeah, I'm going to keep um, working on mine. I'm going to keep working on this one. And I'm coming along good with my one thread a day on this. Oh, yeah. And um, I started on the bird down here. So it, it's coming along. It's close. Yes, mine is really close. Mine is almost done. I just have to fill in. Oh, up here. Yeah, in this space right there. That's oh, all you have you left? That's all I have left. Oh, and then some little backstitch stars here. See, there's some little so backstitch stars. That in fill in there. looks and fun looks, because yeah. there's different colors. Yeah, yeah. I, and I don't think it'll take that long because it's not... So big, yeah, and it's not like long rows, it's like little pieces. And then here and there. I also have a start on the tree. Um, I have just this done. Oh, uh huh. So it's really a start. I don't, I don't know if you can call it a whip, but it, it, it is a work in progress. So there's that. 
Do you have any yeah, others? I have just this one, our um, camp project from this year. Number one, North Pole. This is a FaithWorks design. And this is, I haven't gotten to work on this one. Hardly Mine all, is either. actually in another category. So I did this one. Oh, and you're working on the back stitch. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm working on back stitch. Oh, yeah, this was another one that I said I could put as a... In the house. In the house. The 24 yeah. and 24. Yeah. But then I left it in my I Christmas also have Christmas right treasures, and I have not worked on these at all. The little smalls. Marlene gave this to me last year, and I just love it. I'm using the called for um, floss. I changed it to anchor, it and I'm stitching on the called for fabrics, um, which was gold country French French country gold. Is it that gold needle? Golden gold needle. needle. Country French golden needle linen. Yeah. That's what I'm using. It's really pretty. It's I a like beautiful that. fabric. Yes. And I converted the colors to anchor floss. It's really but pretty. It's, it's very pretty. So, yeah, I, I didn't get to work on that. And then I had one other Christmas one. Also, I did not work on this one. This is um, Search the Skies. And I have just the little tiny start on the moon. That's all I have. We had I'm stitching both this plans on to do different. We Carlene had said she was going to work on this one on Christmas Eve, and I was going to work on something else. And I don't know. We kept working on our current project. Yeah, I think I'm, so. Cause this is twenty eight count blue spruce uh, cashel linen that I'm stitching. It was the called for fabric. So that. Are, are Those are our current Christmas whips that we'll be moving on. Most of them will be moving on into 2024. Um, yes. Yeah, so we may get six, some of them yes. out to work on, like during Jolly July or something. I don't, we'll see. Yes. They probably will come out when we do our March Madness. Yes. So yes. We'll need mm -hmm. them then. Yeah. The next category that we have is our 24 in 24. Marlene and I have decided that for our challenge for 20 in 24, 24 and 24, we are going to be doing um, projects that have houses in them. So we have selected projects with houses. It's not necessarily 24 whips because some of our projects have multiple houses in them. Right. So we counted each house. Right. Um, so that will become clear as we go yes. along. So Marlene, what do you have to start in well, that category? I'm going to start with my little ABC samplers. So these are not in any particular order. This is the LMN. And this is my start on that. Just and a little boof. Yes. And then this is... Uh, IJK. We are stitching on the called for fabric, which was. Um, um, go ahead and show, and, this, this and I will look what I have on that one. A thirty-two count linen, thirty-two count linen. I don't know. Maybe lambs wool, and then this is FGH. You have. So many of them started. Yes. There's a total of nine. Yeah. So all nine of them are going to be included in our 24 and 24. So there's that one. Because we've had these for a long time and, and we want to get them done. This is the last one. DE that I have started. DE. And that's what I have. So I'm very excited to work on it. So Marlene has one finished, yeah, four ABC started. Is done. So she has five, and then she has four remaining. Yes. I only have one started, but I want to get all nine of them done this year. So I only have my ABC started, and I have this much done. Yes, so my I ABC have is done. grass to fill in and that kind of thing. Okay, then do you want okay. me to? Yeah, go ahead. And then another one I'm going to use is my The Witch Next Door. 
This is a primrose cottage. Yes. And this is also one, this is my, one of my um, uh, 12 by 12. So it has a dangling thread because it's going to get stitched on on New Year's Eve. Sorry about the big wrinkle in the middle. And this was a fabric from your stash. Yes. A 28 uh -huh. count? Uh, I believe so, yeah. yeah. Yes, I bet so because they stitched theirs on 27 count, yeah. like tote. Yeah. So you probably did a 28. Yes. So. I have a drawn thread that's going to be one of my 24 and 24. It has this pretty pink house up here. Is and that, which one is that? It's Wildflower Garden. Wildflower Garden. Uh -huh. By Drawn Thread. Um, and I have this much done. Just the house, really. And a little bit of the fence down here. So I'm hoping because these are, once I get that top part done, mm -hmm. then there's more bands with um, specialty, specialty stitches, stitches and, and that faster. kind of stuff. And that goes fast. Mm -hmm. So, and what Marlene and I are planning is we're selecting two houses each month that we're going to work on. And that's how we're going to get 24 done in the year. Yes, hopefully. So next. So, okay. Then um, I'm going to work okay. on... This one that's going to get Anniversaries of the Heart finished. The heart. She's got the four boxes across the yes. bottom to do. Yes, these four. And I think I still have, um, sorry, I still have um, lettering and over one work to do on that one. So these are the four that I have started. On the bottom row, I have Pumpkin Farm which is this one right here. Oh, back here. Yeah, Pumpkin Farm. That Pumpkin. one. And then I have um, Evergreen Lane, which is this one. Mm -hmm. And then I have Elizabeth Jane, which is this one. This one. And then in this space, the bonus one goes. I haven't started on that one yet. So, okay. So, Wait. each block will be a, a separate month. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, there's, she has, that will be, that's four different houses. Yes. Then I have this uh, FaithWorks design, Welcome Blocks. This has been on my whip list forever. I, I just have not gotten it out. And it'll go fast once I work on it. I have this much done. I only have boxes put Mine's in. Mine's done. Yes, and finished. Mm -hmm. And fully finished. Uh -huh. But it has this nice big house on it. So I thought, perfect. It is a perfect one to pull out in the spring or the summer and just get it finished. Oh, these are my... Okay, then the only one I have left for houses oh, is you this have one. Is okay, this? so um, another one that we're both going to be working on to get a finish is the FaithWorks design that was in the Just Cross Stitch magazine in the year of 2022. Yes. And Marlene has six houses remaining. She has some of the boxes. Mm -hmm. Hold it up just a little bit. You'll see that she's got three boxes already put in uh -huh, that are so. started, and then she'll have these three to finish. I have four left to do. So one box each, four different months, we'll do one box. Oh. I have the Cozy Country, which is right next to the Beach Bungalow this on the, one? that one. Uh huh. And then below that is the New York Brownstone. Brownstone. And then in that box, it's Pretty and Pink Southern House. Oh, okay. And in the bottom, it is Cape. Cod Country, I think. Cape Cod. Cape Cod Cottage. Cape Cod. Cape Cod Cottage. Yes, this one. So I have this. These, New York, the cozy country, New York brownstone, pretty and pink southern, and Cape Cod Cottage. Those are the four I have left to do. So I'm going to assign one block to each month. Yes. And, and I still have done. to backstitch that one. And then one I them. put my um, number one North Pole in as a house because, I mean, yes, it's I'm definitely gonna, a house. Yes, I'm going to move it 
too, but I and just showed it in my Christmas. Book. That is what I have done. So I'm working on the second floor, which is the um, workshop, the elves workshop. Yes. And then, of course, we have the back also to do. So this will be a big um, project. I don't know that we can get that all done in one month. And then I have Pretty in Pink, which has a very nice house on it. This one is going to be one of my New Year's Eve 12 by 12 stitches. And I don't know. I have not really decided which months each of these houses are going in. So I have to get that sorted out. And I have my This Is The Day Plum Street Sampler, which has a very large brick house in it. And I have a good start. Not this much done. No, that's so pretty. That's really pretty. I was like, why do I have so much fabric? But I didn't cut it. It was all oh. surged nice, and so I didn't. I did not cut it. I'll cut it after I get it all done. <laughs> and then I have one more house, and that is my cardinal sampler, winter cardinal sampler. This is gonna. I know for sure this one is gonna go oh, in January. January. Uh huh. I'm gonna work on this one, and I have a little start. I'm stitching it on 36 count cypress with impressions. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Mm, I don't know. I'm hoping this is going to be okay with the impressions thread. I think it will oh. be. So, it's 36 count? Yes. Yeah, it's 36 it's count. Kind of tight. It is a little tight. Okay. Okay. Then, mm -hmm. we have a category of farms and gardens. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to start? Yes. Several of these. And some of these can also go in my houses. Okay, so there's this one, Strawberry Fields Farm, because see, it has a nice house up here. So yeah, it could also... Farmhouse. Yes, it could be one of my houses. And I have a very sad start on this one. I only have the just the tree branches put in. And we're going to be working on our houses on Thursdays. Our our 24 and 24? Yes. yes. On Thursdays. Uh -huh. And our gardens or farms are going to be on Saturdays. Right. Right. So they will get out on, we'll, right. every, we're going to have one garden, and it, some of them may repeat throughout uh -huh. the year, but they're going to be, one whole month is going right. to be for one of the gardens mm -hmm. or farms. So I have Hello Autumn. So it's technically, it's not really a farm, but... It says Sunshine Farms on the truck, so we put it in there um, because it's, I just want a way to get yeah. out whips mm -hmm. and work on them. And so this is what I have done on mine. This is what I have done on mine. It's so pretty. It I just is. love it. This part up here in the truck takes all the time, though, because yes. it's a lot of color changes. And then we still have to do all the back stitching. And then I put changing seasons in my garden because I thought, you know, seasons oh, of the year I, go with yes, gardening. Yes. And so flowers and stuff. And yes. I didn't I put that in another place. I, I'm not going to do the fox and rabbit um design for this year, but I'm so tempted because it's called Faith, Hope, Love. Oh and it sounds pretty, so I don't know. This is what I have done. Oh, that looks really pretty. And so I have Ooh, work I love to this do. One. That's really pretty. Oh, that's, this is all really pretty. So that's really. I know pretty. I'm excited to work on this one again. And in fact, this may I had put something down, but I may change this one because I'm ready to work on the winter side. Mm -hmm. So it'd be kind of nice to work on that now in uh -huh. January. Mm -hmm. Okay, that what one do will you come have up later? Um, let's see. I have this one. The Lighthouse Summer Garden. That one is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Now you are this coming was, along really yes, well on this yes, one. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Let's get it open. Okay, let me show the picture again. Yes. So she has the gardens down here at the bottom yes. to do. And, that, and those are specialty stitches. Yeah, they so go, fast. go fast. This 
top part was what took the longest. So, and I have to finish the border on this side. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. This is another one that I could put as a house. Yes, the because house there is there. a house there. And then I have Poison Garden. Okay, that's my next one too. And I have this much done. No, oh, you have so much done. Oh, wow. So Look I'm excited to have a whole Ooh. month of Saturdays to yes. work on this. I know, me too. I got some more done. So fun. I got to work on this one last night because one of it was for one of my um, teams that made it to a bowl. Oh, so you worked on it. Yeah, so I worked on it last yes, night. Yes, a few of these are going to get put in my bowl, my bag so, for my bowl games. So, um... So I got to put in the oh, rest of the Oh, you worked on the border? Yes, I worked on the green around here, and then right here I got this green put in. Very pretty. So. I'm this is a shadow get, lane. Yes. We're stitching it on 32 count graceful, graceful gray, gray with um, a combination, combination of, of threads. Yes. Then I have Grandma's Rose Garden. This... Um, is probably my oldest work in progress but I'm not going to use it for magical stitches because it's not a traditional cross stitch and it's hard to count stitches oh yeah so I am not I'm not going to use it for for magical stitches my Didn't oldest work, work mm -hmm. in progress is going to be um, another one that I show later and then probably nativity would be the second. Oh, uh -huh. the yeah, second. if I finish yeah, the one. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what do you have? Okay, um, and then I have a couple of drawn threads. This one is the Alpine Garden. You showed this, this one. one in one of our recent floss tubes because you're going to be working yes. on it, right? Mm -hmm. So um, pretty. Yeah, I think I did show it. I think you were going to work on it for your garden yeah. in January. Yes, uh -huh. It's going to be your January yes. garden. And again, she's got the top part done, mm -hmm. and then you go into bands of more specialty stitches. And I love doing the specialty stitches. I think it's very, very fun. fun. And then we decided to put our quilted bees, because bees are in gardens, so we thought that that was appropriate. I showed this one, too. So this is a... Quilted bees. That's my progress yes. right and I now. I showed this one because this is going to be one of my stitched on thirty two light sand. count light sand. Light sand. And I showed this using one anchor too. floss and because some this, treasure braids. This is going to be one of my twelve by twelves. So I have the dangling thread. So filling in green. Yes. Then I have another Chatelaine, which is Hawaii Gardens. This one I'm I'm stitching on. It was I've been saying the wrong thing. It might be beautiful beige. Uh huh. Yeah, and it kind of looks like beautiful beige. That's really. Funny. And it's. Oh my gosh. 32 count beautiful beige. So I have a lot of stitching left to do. But I'm excited to have Saturday so where is I this can. The, no, this is the waterfall. That's a waterfall. Oh, okay. So it's, it looks like white because the water is falling down. Yeah. It's that's a really treasure. Pretty. It was stitched in treasure braid. Oh, okay. So it sparkles. And are you showing this one next? Not in my angel farm? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I have next. Okay, then we both have another shadow lane, Autumn Hydrangea Fog. That's going to be a garden, and for some reason I have a dangling thread on mine. And it is and this I believe is also is this. Mine light sand. Yeah, I think this is light sand also. 
32 comments. Oh. That's so pretty, Marlene. Mm -hmm. I know, it's really pretty. So Marlene is is working on this right here. So then she'll be she'll have these big hydrangea blossoms and this outer corner border. So actually you are coming along really well. Mm -hmm. Mine is not coming along that well. It's it's really fun. Now that this I is, don't have so much trouble seeing. This is what I have done on mine. Oh, you just aren't you got the, the center square. Yeah, but you got that center square all done. Yeah. So. I loved doing that outer border right here with the little over one mushrooms. Those were really fun. It's, it's really all good. very fun. Okay. And then I have another you have another drawn thread. I yes. have a couple stuff. I have another drawn thread. Um, this is Cloister Garden. Oh, and this one you're getting close to finish. Yes, I'm coming really good with this one. So pretty. I did that one. Yes. And I've always loved yours, so I was so excited. When I found that I had the kit in my stash, because I came all kitted up. Yeah. So mm -hmm. with the threads and the and fabric. then another one is my mirabilia because she obviously is out in the garden. Where did you put my mirabilia? Oh, oh she's no. in my ladies. Because I didn't really think she looked like she was in the garden. Can't really. And that's what I've done. That's very pretty. So is that one you're working on? No, you just showed it because it was for. I used it for North, North Dakota, Dakota State mm -hmm. in their championship playoffs. Yes. Okay, and this is another one. This is a pile of on. I've done all of the months, so I'm working on April. And again, obviously a garden, garden. scene. Yes. A quilt out in the garden. So pretty. So that's what I have done on that one. This one really went faster than I expected. So I need to just work on it. And then I have my drawn thread moonlight garden. This was the one that I said I was going to work on now in January, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to stick to that or whether I'm going to move um, changing seasons to January. Oh, uh -huh. and oh, that's what I have done. So pretty. The border, I have mine done. Yes, and it's framed and it's mm -hmm. beautiful. So okay. those are our gardens. I have a couple and more. again, we're gonna. Oh, Marlene has a couple. Yes. More. Oh, where's where did you, where's mine? I, I have that know. one too. I don't know where mine is. Okay, I'm doing. I have honeybee garden in. In this, it, this is another know, one that I'm working on for. For twelve by twelve. 12 by That's 12. where mine is. Yeah. Mine is in my twelve by twelve. I forgot so. to get it out, so I have that one also. That's, I showed that one on our last floss too. And then I have one more. This is another Victoria sampler. It says Pumpkin Patch Farm. And I showed this one recently too. Oh, because I'm also doing this one for 12 by 12. So I have another dangling thread. Oh, Does ready to start. White? Does it need something in back? Or uh -uh. No, it it's good. Go? So I'm working on the pumpkin patch. So we'll work on that for an hour yes. mm -hmm. on New Year's Eve. Yes. <laughs> okay, so those are our gardens and farms. Mm -hmm. And so now we're moving on to what we call really big projects. <laughs> Even though some of those we just showed are really big projects too. Yes. I have the My Big Toe design called Prayer of St. Francis. It's a lot of words, a lot of one color. I changed the colors. I'm stitching it on, I think, an antique white. And I'm doing it over one, 28 count over one, with one strand of dinky dye floss. So I'm only just working on this tiny little border up here on the top. And that's and what I have done. You, are you going to, on that part where you started before, are you going to be able to pull it out and save the threads? Or 
No, I'll probably just cut, cut it. it. Mm -hmm. And you'll have enough thread if you do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm using one strand. Oh. Oh, yeah. Or over one. Okay. okay. So what do you have for a really big okay. project? I have Money. this one, the um, Quaker Rocky Road. And I'm counting this as a really big project because I'm doing it over one. So, and I think I might use this one as my one thread a day. I think it goes this way. Um, because it's a big blocks of color. That would be good. It's so pretty. The colors are just mm -hmm. gorgeous. I don't mix me more chocolate. So is that 28 count? Yes. It looks like an even uh, weave. Yes, I think it's, is it 28? Yeah, yeah, it looks like a 28 yeah. count. 28 count, and then and then it's dinky dye floss also. And then I have one really big project, which is my hidden treasure bookshelf. This is one of those of what was I thinking? <laughs> I'm doing it over one with two strands of floss, mm -hmm. which is and a full cross stitch which is really giving me a hard time because you can, it's almost like a tapestry yeah. now mm -hmm. and it's getting really hard to stitch. And so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try switching to using two strands but doing only a 10 stitch uh -huh. and see if I can really tell the difference. Yeah. Um, and if I can, then I don't know what I'm going to do. It may become a permanent UFO. Yes. I love the design. I'm almost tempted just to restart it. And um, do one strand. But I've done so much of it yeah, already. Yeah. Well, I really haven't. I've only done like the first three pages. But that it's hours and hours. Yes, hours of stitching. Yes. What about you? Okay, well then I'm gonna show this one. This okay. is mine that I might, this is my fox and rabbit changing seasons, but I'm just not happy with my colors. And so I don't know, this one might become a permanent. Oh, you have so much done. I know too. I just am not happy with it. And and it's, but it's just this color, right? That yeah, you don't that like? She thinks it looks bright and gaudy. Mm -hmm. I do not think it looks well, bright and it gaudy. It looks okay here with just these little bits, but here when I start putting in this bigger flower, it's a lot of that color. It just doesn't look soft and springy to me. So I don't know. And then I have my long dog sampler that was originally a DMC challenge where every week we were given a different DMC color that we were supposed to stitch with. And so now I have this hodgepodge of color everywhere, everywhere. So I'm going to keep working on it because I think I'm going to like it once I get things finished. Yes, so you said you I'm going to work on it, um, well, coming up in January for my magical stitches because one of the tasks is to stitch with gray. And so I've, I've been doing all the outline, the border outline is with one of the over-dyed grays. Oh, uh -huh. so I'll work on that. Or I could put some more of the whale in right here. That's all a gray. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. I have lots of things I yes. could do with that. So... I don't know what that fabric is. It's a beautiful over dyed fabric, hand dyed fabric. I don't Did know. Did you what get it, it is. at Cecilia, Cecilia Samplers? samplers. Mm -hmm. And then Gosh. my other one um, is um, uh, my big toe design. It is Wild with My Soul. This is my other big project, and I just have a tiny little start on this one. Yes, I'm doing that one also, and I have the same amount, just about the exact same amount started, a tiny little bit. This is starting in January. I'm going to do one thread a day on this. Oh, yeah. I'm um, going to use my chocolate one. Yeah, I think that's one. good. I'm going to do so. this one. I, I have a tiny start, Did but... You, um, um, 
Let me see your purple color that you used. Oh, you have a little more done in that box. Oh, yeah. Mine's, mine's almost, mine's a little bit lighter. The, we we the, started this one for our mother's birthday. This was our mother's favorite hymn. And um, her favorite color was purple. So Marley and I changed the blues to purples. Okay. And then I have one more really large project. And that is my Tempting Teas. This one, I don't know. I, I may try to work on this one in January. Just because tea. tea seems warm mm -hmm. and cozy, mm -hmm. and um, that's what that's I have really done. Good. I'm sti stitching it on Vintage Country Mocha, um, one it? strand of floss over one thread with a dinky dye silks. And did it come? The, the, you got the floss pack, right? Yes, they had the floss pack for mm -hmm. tempting teas. Mm -hmm. Okay, next... We are on. We are moving right through our list, we you are. guys. We are. We're coming along really good. Okay, then we have some samplers. Yes. So yes. is that what you have next yes. on your list? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to so find this the one I'm going to work on in uh, January. A heart remembers. This is going to be my Sunday sampler that I work on, and okay. there is a little tiny house on this, but. It's so small, and I it I don't feel like it's the focus of the project. No. So I didn't want to count it as one of the houses. I'm I want to get this one done. I'm stitching it on forty count vintage country mocha, with one strand of floss. I think what? it's a combination of. I I know I changed the pinks. Mm -hmm. It's it's the over dyed cottons. Yes. Like weeks dye. Weeks dye works. Sampler. Sampler. Yes. And I So this doing, was a Blackbird design, a Heart Remembers. And I'm doing a Sister's Love. Also a Blackbird design. Yes. And you're also doing yours on 40 counts. Yes. And mine only had a very few colors. Mine was a combination of Weeks Dye Works and um hold it up just a little so they can see the bottom. Weeks Dye Works and classic colors, I think. Very pretty. So I just have this top row. That I is think. so elegant looking because it's so uh -huh. rich with just those few colors. And I don't. Oh, it's the name pretty. goes in this other blank space down here. The names, and I haven't decided for sure what I'm going to do there. So, um, so, that one is going to be my January um, Sunday sampler. Yes. In February, I'm going to work on Mary Hillier. Because it's red, and so February is the perfect month to work on red projects. So this is what I have done. I'm excited to go back to work on this one. This is mine. I am working on the third or the fourth page, I think. Oh, wow. You have a lot done. Yeah, this is as wide as it's going to be. Uh -huh. So, and then it, there's a lot left. <laughs> Yes, mine. And this is mine. Mine is Louisa Cooneymore. And I think I'm only working on the second page. You have a lot done too, though. Mm -hmm. Now, you aren't all the way across, though. No, I have um, just a two or three more letters. This is the start of the M. I have M and O. Okay, and so then, you are almost yeah. all the way across. Yeah. So it's really pretty and it's so relaxing to work on. Just one color. One color, yes. Yeah. I really like it. Okay, and then Donia Dorothea was one we started. She was our lady in September. This was a Spanish sampler. No, I showed this one. And this is what I have done. Oh, you have the top part all done. Is that all the way across now? No. No. Okay. No, there's still more because I have all this fabric. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you you saw mine because this, this is another one that I'm going to use for my 12 by 12. So I showed this one. So, and I don't know when. And last bless you. I don't know which month that will be my Sunday sampler. I don't know either. 
and then Antong Uffindel, a hands across the sea design. Um, Donia Dorothea was designed by who? Um, it was Scarlet Letter. Scarlet. Okay. Scarlet Letter. Wasn't it from Scarlet Letter? Scarlet Letter. Yes, yeah. it was a Scarlet, Scarlet Letter, Letter design. Mm -hmm. Anton Uffindel, Hands Across the Sea. And this is my progress on that. Oh, I am very... stitching this one on light mocha, 40 count light mocha, um, using the call for DMC. The call for DMC flosses. So one pretty. strand over to fabric thread. Yes, that's what I'm doing too. This is mine. Mine is Ann Thomas. So pretty. And this is what I have done on this one. And I'm doing mine on, on Dune uh, from Atomic Ranch. Which is beautiful. But I also the call for it. DMC yes. flosses. Mm -hmm. And I just have the corner, that corner flower, those flowers over there. Oh, yeah, and then you'll be across the uh -huh. top. Mm -hmm. So it will mirror this. Yes. Uh -huh. Very pretty. It's really fun. Really pretty. And I think the words look okay. I'm doing them in a tent stitch. Yeah, I like I think, it. Yeah, I can't see. even tell uh -huh. that it's a tenth stitch. I think it looks okay, good. then we put one more in um, samplers because these were actually inspired by sampler motifs. So we are working on nostalgia. There were 12 designs and we're putting them all on one fabric. We are doing it on 28 count um, over one thread. So one, one strand, one of strand of anchor so this is what so I have done. that is this one right down here is block six mm -hmm. I haven't finished the block five yet and then I was thinking I'd finish block five but yeah seven eight seven nine little Adam and Eve motif there and then ten Little deer. Eleven has birds. And then twelve. Chickens. Yes. And then twelve. So we have all of those left to do. That's and it's really fun. I like this is on what that. I have done. Oh, so you have this one done. So I have all the boxes put in, and I have one more row of boxes then mm -hmm. to do. So I think this will be a good one to put in on Sundays, yes. one month of Sundays, yes, and um, and just see what we can get accomplished. And this is another little sampler that I have. Oh this yes, is, uh, um, also Elizabeth a hands, Garrett. also a hands mm -hmm. across the sea and design. I'm stitching this one on Atomic Ranch yes. Freeze. 40, 40 count. count freeze. But I was having a lot of trouble because I was trying to do this last and year. And you were using a 103, right? No, I used, um, I believe I was using it in PI Silk. I wasn't using 103. But I was having a really hard time seeing it. So I'm hoping now... Oh, it'll be much yeah. better. I'll I be think it'll be because the better. other Atomic Ranch fabrics that I've used, I'm not having any trouble with. So, then, as you know, this year Marlene and I started a different lady every month. Some of them were samplers, so they've been moved now into our mm -hmm. sampler mm -hmm. Sunday stitching. Yes, um, and then others were just ladies, or they were some other kind of connection. So, so let me show the one we started in November. Oh, okay was this the quilting b by erica michaels mm -hmm. quilting abcs this is 
this one. And it came out in parts. Uh -huh. So, we, this so that's the whole, what the whole part looks like. The whole I, we, I have just a tiny little star yes, I on the too. top. What I'm, I'm going to do in January is I'm going to try to finish the first row. And yeah, then in February, I'm, I'm going to put row mm -hmm. two on the list. and yeah, So that so hopefully I can to. keep working that's on I, it. That's what I have done. But these aren't really going to get a designated really day. It seems like I'm... Um, <laughs> getting a lot to do. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. In a month. In a month. <laughs> okay. I don't have time to do tutoring. I just have to stitch. And then I still have to work. This was our January lady, and I'm not finished with her yet. This was a, a Joan Elliott design. Mm -hmm. And this is what I have done on her. She has a dangling thread because I'm going to be working on her for 12 by 12. She's so pretty. I did get mine done. I know you did. Mine and I finished. really want to work and get she's mine done. She's not fully finished, but she's finished. And then I guess I'll show, we'll go ahead and show these. And we also did, the. it was three of them. So uh -huh. London Elegance. Then we had Bella Roma. Mm -hmm. And Marlene and I um, both started her. This one also has a dangling thread because I'm going to work on her. I'm going to work on her on, on 12 by, uh -huh. it's one of my 12 by 12. So I have a yes. dangling thread. Me too. All ready to start on her glove. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm working on her hat still. So we have that one. And then the third one in the series was Belle Paris. And... I have a dangling thread on this one too, but I'm not working on her in on twelve by twelve. No, she's not one of my. 12 That's by what I have either. done on her. I'm do we're doing her on an opalescent, uh -huh. twenty eight count I think opalescent fabric. This is what I have done on mine, or maybe thirty two count. I really love this. I do too. It's really. Fun. I love them. Okay, and then we both have. Um, our Celtic dancer mm -hmm. have this much done. She's so pretty. I have this much done. You have more done of her back in here. Yeah. So pretty. Do you want to show yeah. the cover picture? Yes. This was from uh, Cross Stitch Magazine. That's discontinued they no longer printed a european cross stitch magazine. european cross stitch or i can't remember cross stitch gold or something it was called anyway so we will be continuing to work on her i'm going to work on her during march yes february and march maybe yes. mm -hmm. and, then and then i have oh i have one more one more lady yes my mirabilia frog princess frog princess because we all love to frog when we stitch. And this is what I have done on her. Oh, those colors are so pretty. I really like your fabric choice. Yes, I hope it, it stands out so much better than yeah. on this one. Yeah, and I'm excited just, to get more done so it can so it'll start pop on a pretty little. colors. Yes. So. Okay, then we had a couple of projects that are. Um, kind of stitching, sewing room related. And we have um, stitching chair necessaire. This is going to be my oldest work in progress. That if I need to, if I don't have a, pro a project that matches a prompt in my magical stitches, I can stitch on my oldest work in progress and not do extra stitches. Uh -huh. Still just do 200. So right. I have this much done these are the little extra pieces i think it goes like this, this is all i have done on mine these are the extra pieces Today. and then um so those are done they're ready to be finished and then i'm working on the actual armchair piece so i have the bottom half to do and then the the extra pieces go up there uh-huh the, the pockets mm -hmm. and then the pin cushion or pin pillow goes here uh -huh. in the center so I have that one and then um oh 
some of my stuff didn't get brought over here. I have this one. Okay, the vintage, the vintage spool. spool. This was a FaithWorks design. This side? Yeah. FaithWorks design. It wraps around a little vintage spool. This will go really fast yes. once we start it. This is all I have. I know. I think that was... I have that done. You have E done. That E done also. Yeah. I think we did this for March Madness yeah. or May Stitch Mania. Stitch Mania. And that was 100 stitches. Yes. And then we have this one. And then we have the Stitcher Shadow Box, mm -hmm. which was a collaboration piece with Sue Hillis and um, Nancy Waller of FaithWorks. So we have the Shadow Box and the Smalls. I have one of the Smalls finished. I have one of the the Shadow Box pieces finished. I have the little apple in the center. Yeah, I have finished. the apple done. Yeah. Did you say well, something about there was back stitching? Yeah, I think it was supposed to be back stitched, but I didn't back stitch mine. Oh well, then maybe mine isn't finished. And then I have a tiny start. I have no idea what that is. Mine is that spool one. Oh, I have this. This was one I'm sure that I worked on for Stitch Mania or, or yeah, probably most likely. March Madness because I got so the I spool kept adding stitches is is this I think. Yeah, yeah, right I think here. it's that one. They're really fun when you work on them. The colors are pretty and very nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then I have this done on the smalls, the scissor keeper. Oh, you have quite a bit done on that. Yes. That'll go fast. Yes. yes. So. so that was sewing. And then we have some that we just kind of call seasonal um, stitches. So we will go through those. Okay. This is I have in my winter seasons. This is... What I make with my hands, I give my heart. Yeah, that's a good February one yeah, with the heart on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oops. And this is what I have. See, done. this is where I will probably run into problems because I'll have something that I want to start that's more seasonal. Yeah. I have that one finished. I know. Very you have fun finished. To stitch. It finished up really cute the way you finished. I don't have anything anything started i have some that are on my want to start list for winter um but so i'm um, mine is going right into spring mm -hmm. so i have this plum street sampler spring has sprung this is going to be a 12 by 12. okay i'm a little sleepy today <laughs> yes and plus i'm cold and that always makes me sleepy. That's what I have done. I have a dangling thread because I'm going to work on it in for 12 by 12. Okay. Um, let me show this one. Okay. Um, I have my May pin roll. Fake works design. Yes. Fake works design. And this is what I have done. That will go very fast. Just the box. That's that one. I have lavender mint tea, and I really did not want to carry this one over because I have such a tiny bit left. I have just the one oh, stalk wow. of lab, well, two stalks, I think, of oh, lavender yes, right here. up here in the corner. Mm -hmm. And a and butterfly. Then it's done. Yes, and a butterfly. So I have just this right here to do. Mm. So that will be a finish. Yes. And hopefully a fully finish. Okay, and I have this one. This is one that my mom had in her stash that I inherited. So I just have boxes, I believe. That's all I have done on this one. I think it goes. Let me see. Um, a little narrow yeah, box at the top. Yeah, it goes this way. I think. Does it have a middle spot? Middle one. Maybe that goes down at the Maybe bottom. The bottom. Yes. yes, yes, it's at the bottom. So. <coughs> it's not interesting, yeah. just boxes. Yeah, it's this right here. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I have Fairy Tale Sampler. This will go very fast because I have finished the top and so I'm starting on the, the sampler. The, the sampler oh, wow. part of mm -hmm. it. 
the specialty you stitches. You could have put that in a sampler too, I bet. Well, yeah, fairy tale well, sampler, sampler, but, but uh, I but don't really, I don't really know. Okay, and then I have spring frills. This is a just nan. The colors are so pretty on this. Mm. Oh, look how pretty you have the pansies Oops. done. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it goes that way. Got a little green arrow. Very pretty. Yes, I think it'll go really fast if I can just work on it. Work on it. Because it's not big. Then I have an Erica Michaels really Irish fun. Blessing. I'm stitching this on um, 40 count country mocha. Two, one strand of thread over two threads. It was a petite collection, so it actually came with the gauze, but I didn't want to stitch it on the gauze. No. So uh -huh. I'm not, I'm going to just do only the green and the gold, and then I don't have to stitch the background like you would yeah. if you were stitching on, gauze. on the gauze. Mm -hmm. That would be good. Okay, then I have this one. This is a Faithworks design. This is Hoppy Hedgy. I have that one too, but it's not started. It's actually going in my new kit start for 2024. Start on it. Oh no, this is the wrong one. Where is it? Here. This is all I have done. What's okay? Well, you'll show. Oh, you have little hedgy started. Yes. Mm -hmm. How cute! So, that's such a cute design. I know it is really cute. I have a my big toe. Be still and know. This one, I have a lot done on this one. And I, I keep meaning to come back to it and get oh, it done. Oh, that's really and pretty. It's not getting done. So, yeah, I love the colors. Yeah, it doesn't look I think like it'd it would be take pretty, that long. No, I think it would be pretty on just a small little antique frame like uh -huh. it is here, mm -hmm. finished. So, yeah, I'm excited to work on that. Okay, I'm going to show this one next. Okay, yeah, I have that one also. And then we're going to work on our, this was our baseball start during the, baseball playoffs. This is a little house design. Take me out to the ballpark. Ball game. And so we will start this on opening yes, day. Yes, opening day of baseball. We'll get it back and out. What did we stitch it on again? We the called it on for, the right? called for sure. straw by Weeks Dye Works. And we are using mostly the called for threads, but we are changing the, I, I the little it. animal. We're changing the, the people. The people. <laughs> the people. <laughs> <laughs> the little the little people in the crowd and the, like this little batter I changed him his so the skin tones are different colors. yes we're gonna make it a more diverse crowd yes. this is so. all I have done on mine and we're so. also gonna personalize it for a cardinal game yes St. Louis Cardinals game so there's gonna be lots of red and white yes in so the crowd and then I have another one this is a um, stitching with the Housewives, America the Beautiful. Oh, are you into summer now? Yes. Wait, I have one more spring Oh, you have time. one more spring? Okay. The God mm -hmm. Save the Queen, Long Live the King. I started this. It was a free pattern on hands-on design. And I'm going to make it as a little drum. So I'm almost finished with the top, and then I have to just do the wording. Oh, uh -huh. well, that's pretty it's just very simple. I don't know why I haven't just gotten it out and finished it, but I haven't. <laughs> okay, so then I have this one, America the Beautiful by Stitching with the Housewives. Now, are you this working one. on this one for 12? Yes. 12 by 12? 12 okay, by 12. yes, because you mm -hmm. showed this one yes. recently. Yes, I did. So I don't have too much left so to do. And I used all the called for threads, except I changed the... Uh, words to blue from white to blue, the dark blue. And you're stitching it on vintage country mocha. Yes, vintage country mocha. And then I have a Mill Hill kit that is, I'm stitching on fabric, but I will be using the beads and I think this is a week's dye work Oh yeah, I fabric. have that one too, let me show you. Yeah, I think it is, this is too. Um, Coco or something. Fino Rosso. The name of yes, this pattern. My, I'm doing the same one. So pretty. Mm -hmm. I love it. This is another one I worked on is, for March Madness. Is yours? Is yours a different count? How come your wine glass looks bigger? Oh, you have the beads done already. Yeah, That's uh, why. Yeah, I have the beads done. Oh, so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, 
had it in the So piece. that is a summer project that I'm yes. going to get out. And then I started, do you have any other summers? Yes. I yes, started I um, the Alaska after we went on our trip last summer to Alaska. I have that one, but I have not started it yet. And this is on a fabric that we dyed. I have the outline of the map done. I think it goes like this. Yeah. And so now what I'm going to do is put in all of the personalization. And then I will finish the colors around in the border, like for the ocean and stuff. But I want to get all my extras in first before I put any I'm letting her in. do it first so that she can help me with mine because I don't really get how to put it in. <laughs> I don't know if I do. We will see. And then I have this one. I didn't take it out of the plastic, so hopefully... It's not too, it's well, kind of blurry. It'll be okay. Um, this is Little Louise House. and Henry from Little House. Uh-huh. And um, I'm stitching it on, do you remember what it was? Something that we got. Nancy headed. Yeah, something Nancy headed. We're not sure what the fabric is. And I kind of changed the colors too. I think most of them are weak dye works or classic colors. It's so cute. I finished that one. I have, and that one. Then I'm are you ready to go on to fall? Good. Yeah, I just have one for fall. Okay, well, I'll have a couple of fall. I have this fall one, Quaker Halloween. Oh, so cute. Oh, I just want to work on this one. This is all I have done. I'm stitching it on murky. Murky. I can't remember what count, though. Maybe 36 count murky. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love Are murky. you doing over two with mm -hmm. one strand? Yes, plus? over two with one strand. Mm -hmm. So that's probably 36 count. Okay, and then I'm doing another one. This was another one that was in my mom's stash. The school another bus. Another Mill Hill another Mill Hill kit that we're mm -hmm. doing on, she's doing on fabric. Yes. And I just have the little... That's the back. This is the back. Yeah. Just have the little school bus put in the. That's going to be so cute. Mm -hmm. We can finish it as a little pillow or something yeah. so we can stick it in a tear tray or uh -huh. adobo. And then I have a Liz Matthews token of fall. This is going to be one of my 12 by 12s. And I think I'm using the threads that came with the kit. And I will, I will have to look up and see what I'm stitching it on. I don't remember. I'm just working on the blue of the bird. So I have a very little bit done. It's That's very pretty. Very fun. I like it. Yesterday when I got it out, I didn't want to stop working on it. <laughs> and then I have um, so one other. 12 by 12? Yes. I actually have two others. This one's also going to be a 12 by 12. So I just showed this. I have the drum top already finished, and I'm working on the alphabet. So I thread it up and have this one ready to go tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, Sunday. So I'm going to be working on that. And I also have the small started. Um, I've started the Biscor New, and I have just this much done. This checker border. It's the. Uh, it's the checker border on the biscuit. Oh, here. okay. Uh huh. Right there. And then the bats go in the middle. In the bat. Mm -hmm. So I have that, and then the last one that I have. I'm also working on, for twelve on um, twelve by twelve because it's just been in my stash for way too long, and that is Forest Friends Drum, a Faith Works design. That so, was another camp project. Yes, for 12 by 12, I'm sure all I'll do is fill in grass. Mm -hmm. The grass takes a long time. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, that'll be a good thing. Yeah. Just sit for 45 mm -hmm. minutes or so mm -hmm. and work on the green and fill it in. Yeah. and It's relaxing because yeah. you don't want to change colors. No, that's right. Mm -hmm. So those are our whips, and that is our whip parade. Yes. Um, Marlene and I are looking forward to... Our 12 by 12 for New Year's mm -hmm. Eve. We've already and planned a menu. Before that, um, we have a lot of, well, of I have games. a lot of bowl games. 
I have that I'm going to be stitching for. So we're going to be stitching for yes. our bowl games, and then we have 12 by 12 who we'll be stitching on Sunday, and then New Year's Day. Um, we have bowl games. We have bowl games, and, and, um, then on the and a new start. On the 2nd. We're on the second, the that's second. right. We're starting because our of the bowl games. We're new, not starting new to us designers. designers. We're starting on the so second. we'll share that when on we do our floss fifth, tube on, on the, fifth, the January fifth. fifth. January fifth will uh -huh. be a regular floss tube where yes. we'll show stitching progress and um, and then any haul and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Yes. So we hope you all have a very happy, very safe. Um, New, New Year's Year. holiday, mm -hmm. and we want to be the very, very first to wish you a happy 2024, <laughs> lots of blessings, and may you all prosper. So <laughs> we will see you in about a week. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.